I don't want to set the world on fire I just want to start a flame in your heart In my heart I have but one desire And that one is you No other will know I've lost no ambition For worldly acclaim I just want to be the one you love And with your ambition That you feel the same I have reached the goal I'm dreaming of Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire Hello world, welcome to Fallout 3 Bethesda Game Studios presents Ugh. Fallout Tree. Well, War. well, War never, never changes. changes. Since, Since the, the dawn, dawn of humankind, humankind when our ancestors, ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God. To justice, to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war, war never changes. In the early days, Thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. Yeah! All right. Oof. Oof. Look at these. Look at these beauties. Still loading. Please don't do this to me, game. Not now. Nope, 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 we're into it! Oh boy! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Yeah! Live birth! <laughs> Let's see. Are you a boy or a girl? Well, you must be fucking blind. Uh, oh, well, then again, the lady's kind of standing in front of you. I mean, it's not easy to know. Okay. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna play Fallout 3. 
Uh, this is a game I've been wanting to play for a while, but I couldn't get it to run. So, I did what any sensible person would do. I put it off until I found the, the means to do so. And I found that means. Because I have Windows 10. You can't run Fallout 3 on Windows 10. If that's the case, then you're probably asking yourself, Well, why are you running it then? I will tell you after we continue forth. A boy. A boy. We've got yeah! A, son, a beautiful... Healthy baby boy. Oh, oh, James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. As much as I would like to play a girl for events later. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. Oh, Liam Neeson's my father! Jokes! <laughs> he will find me, and he will kill me. Wait. Wait, but that says Courier. Huh. But we're playing Fallout 3. Shouldn't it say Wanderer? You're asking yourself. No. This is the mod, A Tale of Two Wastelands. This is the mod, A Tale of Two Wastelands, and what that is, is it essentially takes both content games and condenses them into Fallout New Vegas' engine, which is fucking tremendous. It's great. It's like... So I can play Fallout 3 using the New Vegas engine, which, as you can probably guess... Due to the level caps you gain, and that would probably lead to an overpowered character. So I figured, well, there's no way to avoid it. Let's just go balls deep, and I now and I also downloaded a mod where you gain a perk every level. So this will be hilarious. You know what? I don't. Let's just name him. Uh, Fuck, what am I going to name myself? You know what? I will just name him CJ. Bubba. There. CJ Bubba. That's a good name, don't you think? Yes. It's beautiful. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Oh, I can't wait. Ew! Ah! Oh, I look horrible. Gross. I wonder if this gives me all the hair options. Let's see. Do I get... No, I don't get all the hair options. That's actually upsetting. I wanted, I wanted the Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Fine, we'll just go Tunnel Snake. Because... Why not? Um... Back to hair... Facial hair. Oof. Oh, Gunslinger, The Gentleman, Mutton Sash. <laughs> oh. I always love this part. Oh, we do get the fucking Lincoln. Man's man. Ladies man. On a stave. Oh, the daddy -o. Oh, boy. Doom Rider. I always liked the Doom Rider. It just looks great. Hombre. El Carcino. Personally, I like the dead man's hand. I always have. Oh, bro. No, I like Bar Brawler. It's kind of like what I have now, only not as long. So I think I'll go with that. Face. Well, we gotta make him a little fat. New shape. Uh, cheeks. Convex. Wait. No. Yeah. Yeah. We want. We want it to be convex. We want it to kind of look at uh, shallow. And I don't know. Low. I don't, I don't care. It's hair. Let's just go. Hair colored. I like the black. 
Caucasian. And yeah, that's about it. All right. This will be my character. Like yeah! So Gotta be Tunnel Snake, because Tunnel Snakes rule! <laughs> it's a big world out there, son. Full of sorts, sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? A terrible one! Just, Just wait! Oh no! No, ma'am! Mammy, I wasn't even in your arms for like two seconds. This is depressing. Oof. Ooh, whole year. Oof. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. Wait. Yeah. Teddy bear. Oh, teddy bear, get over here. Teddy bear. You can make it. My teddy bear. Just smack you in the face. There you go. My goodness. Oh, just a year old. Hang on. Sorry about that. God damn it. Well, essentially, what Dad said was, I have to stay here in this gate. If you haven't played this game before, I have to stay here. But we're not gonna do that. We're a baby who lives life on the edge. And my teddy bear, I'm ready to go kill some bitches. Open this door. Alright, bear. Alright. Guard the door. Make sure dad doesn't come back. Alright? I'm counting on you, Mr. Bear. Alright. Let's make some baby noises. Have them going in this ruse. Okay. You're special! S is for strength. That means I'm strong. I can carry more toys and swing stuff all day long. Oh, oof. For a baby, that sounds pretty good. Perception? Mm, a long, funny word. It means what I tasted, smelled, saw, and heard. It's how long I can play. I'm always really healthy and have energy all day. C is for charisma. It's why people think I'm great. I make all my friends all laugh and smile and never want to hate. I don't- uh, yeah, fuck those haters, am I right? I is for intelligence. <laughs> no, we need eight. We need, like, eight. Because bobbleheads are a thing. I can get to ten whenever. Julie, that's how I move around. Luck is for luck, and it's luck and what? What's the other thing I want? You know what? Fuck it, luck. Let's go, <laughs> Lucky Ted. Let's let's go. Now, nah, actually, I want strength, cause I I'm a hoarder. All right, I'm a I'm a hoarder. I'm guilty of it in this game. I'm I hoard everything. Brains and brawn. Quick, bear! Bear is telling me that dad is coming. Alright. Bear told me dad was coming. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? What do you mean? I didn't do anything! Alright. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. Oof. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life for you. He always loved that. Right. She loved water. Let's go see if your little friend of mine wants to... Oh! Oof. We're young and we're already with the ladies. If only it was like that in real life. <laughs> Alright, me and Mr. Bear, we're coming with you, Dad. Hmm. Ah! Oh, oops. Nine years later. Oof. 
You blinded him. Oh shit! God damn it, Stanley, you fucker! Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. Yeah! Congratulations, young man. I don't have to tell you how Shut up! You're talking to me about mom, you shit! When you turn ten, well, you already take all your first. I can't wait to beat you to near death and then leave you to live. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. Get used to it. Oh boy! You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Shut up! I don't work. Oh. Yeah! Only ten. Happy birthday! Hi, Amara. <laughs> Your dad was afraid he'd haunt us. But I told him not to worry. <laughs> you didn't fool me up to not to know. Great party, Amara. You're welcome. But really, like your dad did most of it. I just have all the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet, I bet you can't, can't guess, guess what I got for your birthday. birthday. Go, Go on, guess. guess. Grognak! I really have no idea. Ha! I, I knew, knew I'd surprise you. Who's, Who's your favorite barbarian? barbarian? That's, That's right. Grognak! Issue 14. And with no missing Oh, ages. Grognak. My favorite barbarian. Thanks. Right next Later. to Dave. Imagine <laughs> reading comic books. Can I guess everybody was 10 months? Of well, course. I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. That would be it's stupid. Okay. Oof. Happy birthday. Vault 101 Bake Off. Oh, I can't fucking wait. I'm gonna win that bake off so hard. Oh man, you got a pit boy. Oh, oof. give me that bake off. Oh, bingo night! Oh, a week supply of water rations. Ooh, a short stop. Earth Officer Gomez. Let's talk. To who the fuck do I want to talk to? Him? Stan. It's really cool, Stanley. As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit big. Thanks, Stanley. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Oh, oh baseball cap. Thanks, Stan. Happy birthday, son. Fucking Andy. Piece of shit. Hey, oh, no. shut up. Oh, I will punch you, Butch. Yeah. Alright, happy, happy birthday, Gomez. Oh, old lady Palmer. This is my favorite part of the tutorial. So, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Oh, goodness, Ew. listen to me ramble. Kinky. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Of course. Yes, ma'am. You didn't have to bring me a present, Mrs. Palmer. Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I don't I like presents. Not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded, not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rap. Here you go. A nice, oh, a nice sweet roll. Yeah, let's eat that sweet roll right now. Aid. Rum. Where are you? I'm hungry. And that stupid rum Shut up, Butch. Hey, give me that. Mmm, it sure was good when I ate it a few minutes ago. What? I love those sweet rolls old Lady Palmer makes. Stay out of my way, got it? Ah, fuck you, Butch. And you're trying to steal my sweet roll! Got you. You're an asshole. Maybe. I'll punch him. How about you shut up, Butch? This party's pretty good, I guess. Not, Not as cool as my party, party though. Remember, Remember how, how my dad, dad got Andy to do You can't get Andy tricks? to do magic tricks. He can't and even cut a cake right. In the atrium? <laughs> oh, right. 
Well, that's because you're a piece of shit. I bet this. I bet this guy. This cool dude loves me. Hey, uh, thanks, thanks for, for inviting, inviting me. me. Really, really cool. cool. I know I that. Uh, what should I give you a hard time? time? Anyway, uh, happy, happy birthday. birthday. See, I told you, this dude's awesome. You guys suck. God, white people. Am I right? Oh boy! Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. Jonas is waiting for you. A surprise present. <laughs> Quick, let's go. Oh. How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? I helped with the decorations, you know. No! My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. I'm not a girl, I'm not five, so stop calling me dearie. Of course you're not five. <laughs> and do you know what I did? Thank you, I will treasure it always. Run along now, dear. Oh, fuck, where is it? Really? Don't care. You Let's go. I want my surprise present. Right frickin' now. Give me surprise presents. Cause I'm a little shit. Give me my present! What are you doing down here, young man? I uh, I'm not a kid, I'm ten years old. <laughs> you sure <laughs> are. Pip boy. If you can wait just one more minute, I think you could Two bears high fiving. Are you ready for your surprise? I don't like surprise. <laughs> what you kind of surprise? Old enough to do some work, so your own BB gun. Oh, it's a BB gun. Oh, perfect for ten-year-olds. It was in pretty rough shape. Took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working. Yeah. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switchblade of his. Yeah! What a so, little what punk. Want to give it a... Or I had to kill! Easy now. It's um, only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go. Damn it! Or kill! 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 I don't know. I'm so... I, I don't know. I love this game. It's not my favorite Fallout, but Fallout 3 is fun. Well, what do you think? And what makes it better is that it has the New Vegas engine behind it, which would make this so much better because Fallout 3's engine is garbage. New Vegas has a much better engine. This is so great! Thanks, Dad! Give me my gun. Let's fucking shoot some bitches. Oh, yeah. Pop. And pop. Oh, fuck that little bitch. Just aim shit. You'll be fine. Alright, Rad Roach. I can't see anything. You know, those fucking vads, fuck it. Suck it! Good work. That's one less. Let's, work. Work. Let's yeah. get a picture together. Hey, Jim, yeah. get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Ugh. Let's get that picture. No! Ah! Now that picture's tainted forever. Oh, six whole years! Ow! Oh, Dad just fucking did some wizard powers. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to no. go to exam. No! What? Okay. We're doing this. Alright, so, choose two traits. Wild Wasteland. As usual. 
There's no downside to Wild Wasteland. It's all just silly shit. I love that. Good nature. Four eyes. Fast shot. Early burb. Logan's loophole is dumb. Never take it. Skilled. Uh, uh, built to destroy. I was upset. Because when we got my... Well, because two of my friends fucking started to play this game. And I, they didn't take Wild Wasteland. Why would you not take Wild Wasteland? It's the only perk with no downsides whatsoever. Small frame. I usually go small frame, but it's such a pain in the ass when you get crippled every five minutes. Kamikaze's not too bad. I don't like that one. But I like crit damage. Ish, I shay shay. God damn it. While wearing any type of glasses. I usually wear sunglasses on my characters. So... But then again, once I get, like, helmets and stuff, that's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, loose cannon's not good. Cause, oh, it, loose cannon's only not good because of that less range on throwing spears, because throwing spears are the shit. You guys have no idea how much I love sp throwing spears. I think I'll just... I could take Trigger to Discipline. You fire 20% more slowly, but are 20% more accurate. Def... I don't fucking know. What do I want? Eh, small frame. I don't plan on doing hardcore mode, because I'm a bitch. And last time I did hardcore mode, you guys have no fucking idea how frustrating um, Dead Money was in hardcore mode. This was my first time doing Dead Money, period, and doing that in hardcore Ooh, mode was a, a, a pain in the bum. If you say so, Dad. Yeah, it's not my cool. I was 16. Come on. It's not. Anything else? Anything else? Anything I need to know about the go? Do we have to die in the wall? Can we ever leave? That's not the way it works. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so you're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? Because what's up there on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Huh. That's what the overseer says. Isn't Oof, it? he's being ominous. I'm about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. Well, at least I have a motto. All mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe. Can we talk about, you know, Mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old folks can in the Huh. She was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get Damn it! The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only... All right, all right, I will be a garbage burner. I promise. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! Shut up, Butch! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. Shut up, Butch. Yeah? What do you want? Shut up, Butch. Tunnel snakes? You guys some kind of gang, is that it? Only the baddest gang in Vault 101. You'll stay out of our...
It's like you're having fun. Damn, Damn right. right. No. no. If you keep messing with her, the overseer's gonna come down on your gang. Maybe you're, you're right. right. We, we can, can deal, deal with, with her later. later. Come, come on, tunnel snakes. snakes. This little, little bitch isn't worth our time. time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're, you're the boss. Tunnel snakes, snakes rule. Fuck off. Right, let's, let's go. go. Thank God, God that's over. I could have beat him up. I should have beat him up. I'm really thinking of it. I just like to keep an eye. Well, well, you made it. Oh boy, let's take that goat. I love the goat. It's so dumb. All right. Let's not keep the overseer waiting. Let me know if there are any changes. Do the goat. Do the goat. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourself. Damn it. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brutch. Shut up, Butch. If anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum <laughs> harmonizer in your photonic information chain. Sounds kinky. Damn, up yours too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> For all you know, he's planning on blowing up the vault. Say nothing, but slip away before the scientist can continue his rant. But doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? What? <laughs> oh, science! I prefer this one. Question two. While working as an intern in a clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. Gross. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Scream for help. Amputate the foot before the infection spreads. Medicate the infected area to do to the best of your abilities. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and, and frightened. And also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Well, as far as I know, with these kinds of tests, you just gotta answer what they want you to hear. So let's leave the boy to safety and turn him into the overseer. Congratulations. Cause fuck him. You've made one of the vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Oof. A DH. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another. Granny! God damn it, Granny! Obey your elder. Throw your tea in Granny's face. Obey my elder and kill the resident with the pistol. Oof. I prefer this one. Ask Granny for some cyanide. Oh, Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again. And you've been ordered to get him out. How do you God damn it, Mr. Abernathy. You fucking senile old bastard. Use a bobby pin and pick the lock. Oh no. You've been exposed to radiation. And a mutated hand is grown out of your style. Oh, I know what I'd use that hand for. A bullet to the brain! <laughs> Woo! Prayer? Maybe God will spare you in his... <laughs> oh, good! They do believe in God in this universe, that's nice. Precision lasers. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of the Grognet the Barbarian. Oh. Oof. 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 What's the best, best way to obtain? What is the best way? Steal the comic book at gunpoint. 
See, I prefer to go the asshole route and just steal everything. No, no. Just take everything. Decide would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking, and Oof. Huh. See, that's that's terrible. Why would you do that? You gotta shock him. Question ten. Who is indisputably the most important oh. person involved in all of Oh, this question's gonna be hard, I can tell. He shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland, and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Uh, uh, I can't. I can't decide. This question is too hard. Uh, 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 Pencils down, people. That's it. In that last question, so stressful. Sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test. Before that question was awful. You want to know what happens to people who fail the goat? You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray, as the situation warrants. Depends. Get behind your desk, you old bastard. Good to see you. Apparently, you're management material. Oh boy! You're trained as a shift supervisor. Yeah! Can I be talking to the next over? Wow! That's what I've always wanted to be! My dreams are coming- I answered randomly, is that how you get stuck with your job? <laughs> Closer, closer to reality, reality than you, you might think. think. <laughs> Listen, I was just as obnoxious at your age. Oh, you're right, I am obnoxious. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. Oof, if you I figured. Like results, I can make your goat come out any way you want. Just let me know. No, I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> I I'm actually really happy with this. Lockpick, melee weapons, and sneak. Perfect. I love me some melee weapons. I mean, guns are helpful, but melee weapons. Uh, come on. They're melee weapons. They're great. You just bludgeon people to death with your big hammers and your beefy beefcakes. See, survival... I'm not worried about. Unarmed. I like unarmed. I think unarmed is fun. But it's not worth it. Early game. Speech. I can, uh, Speech will probably be one of the first things I just, like, start leveling up. Alright. Goody. I management. Let's get the fuck out of here. Whee! Oh, it's the light. Three more years. Fuck me. I'm now 19 years old. Oh fuck! Beautiful woman. Oof. Come on, you've got to wake up. How weird! I was just dreaming about you. <laughs> Ooh. Don't be a smart mouth. This is serious. Damn it! Mother's <laughs> men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got what? to get out of here. But I liked Jonas! I only met him, like, twice! <laughs> it's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. The fuck?! So he had his men. My god, they killed him! They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop! Oh. Sounds like what I did last night. My god! Yeah, don't, don't worry about me. me. I'm, I'm just sorry you had to. But we've got, got to go, go now. now. My I can't stay here, but where should I go? I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but I think, I think you'll have. Listen, listen, maybe, maybe it, isn't it isn't any of my business, business but didn't your dad tell you that. No, I had no idea that he was planning oh, to leave. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure, sure he, he had his reasons. reasons. But it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. I can. Escape the vault? Not another one of your plans, Amana. I don't have time to explain everything. You're just gonna have to trust me this time. Listen, 
There's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. All right. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get it. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you better take it just in case. Okay, I'll try to meet you with I'll use it as a last resort, I promise. Huh, it's a what? It's a 9 mil. Meet instead of the 10 mil. Oh, baby. 9 mil. Let's go. But don't wait for me. Good luck. There he is. Hold it right there. I love this. This man is just going to die. It's actually pretty great. These guys can't fight rat roaches to save their lives. Oh, now he's violent. Well, let's just shoot him a couple times. BAM! One shot dead. <laughs> Useless, useless, useless. Ah, pointless. I'm now a security guard. No one will ever know it's me. You know what, actually, now that that's over, I think this is a good place to end it off. Around these dead bodies. So, this has been Mr. CJ Bob. I would just like to tell you guys that I am done and stay awesome, my friends.